All right. Hey, Black and BJ. I'm coming to you girls with a story time. Do y'all know that I was sitting up here talking to this camera all this time and we were not recording. I pressed the wrong button. That's why you need to have a monitor or a screen on the side of your camera to make sure that you are recording. Okay? Okay. All right. So, um, I'm coming to you guys with a story time. And as you can tell by the title, this is about me getting into a confrontation at hair school. Yeah. Yeah, you probably think, mm, that's not possible because all you're doing is doing hair. No, it happens, okay? Let me tell you, it's so much drama that goes on in hair school, it is ridiculous, okay? If you've been following me for a long time and you're a ride or die, die hard Brittany J fan, follower, lover, I love you back. Thank you so much for riding with me, okay? Um, but yes, I graduated cosmetology school. Um, no, I do not do hair for a living anymore. I did work in a salon for a little bit. I did, um, I stopped working there, um, on my own because they were trying to make me stay there and, you know, work with me, have me do different things and this and that. I just felt like, no, nah, it is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to get this great booming career and it just not what I thought it was going to be. So, since it did not pan out to be what I thought it was going to be, um, yeah, I just kind of like, it was kind of like a letdown. So, since that let me down, I just kind of like, mm, whatever I went to school for, it did not plan out what I thought it was going to be. So, I'm looking to go back to school for something that I'm super duper passionate about, which is designing and decorating, which I love designing and decorating so much. So, yeah. Anyways, let's not jump into that, okay? But anyways, um, um, we're going to get into the story. So, um, so yeah. So, we have different quarters in here at school where every different quarter, I believe it's every... Um, three quarters. Is it every three quarters or every four quarters? I believe it's every three quarters. Every three quarters. Um, and the quarters go by, um, the semesters. So we will have, like, because we make, they make us do theory and stuff, which is the first part of you going through hair school, which you have to run, is, the bookwork is basically the bookwork where you have to learn everything in the bookwork. And I still have a lot of stuff from hair school. Books. Oh my god, you have so much to learn. It's like ridiculous. People think going to hair school, you just gonna jump out, do hair, curl hair, do nails, do makeup, do this, do that. Mm. When I tell you, they're gonna change your whole mind frame when you get in there and they put all them books in front of you. <laughs> You're gonna rethink your whole life. Like, do I really really want to do hair still is this really what i want to do like is this really am i really passionate about this do you know so many people left people that i started with left like i was the last person i was the only person that graduated that i started with like it's crazy it's crazy like i just couldn't believe it like i can't believe it like i just couldn't believe it and they were my friends i'm like i was trying to make them stay and everything but you know shit happens Life happens. Like, I can't even tell you to stick it out for something that, you know, is not panning out in your life right now. Like, I honestly, you know, honestly, if it's difficult for you to get through right now and you have real life situations to get through and you have to fit for yourself and have a full-time job instead of going to school full-time, I honestly will tell you, go get you a job. Go make you money. Like, I, I told my friends that you have to do what you have to do. If you don't have a significant other that's supporting you and having your back, um, you need to go do for you. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. You don't have nobody there for you. You don't have nobody supporting you. Go do what you got to do. Because going to hair school, you have to dedicate yourself fully. Fully. You cannot. You cannot do it partially because you will never get out. Swear to God, you'll never get out. You can't leave early, you'll never get out, okay? So, back on what we was talking about. So, 
Okay. So we have quarter and you know we get new students in. You know, I was a new student, whatever. So my cousin was going there. So I really didn't care about anything else because I had my cousin there. I didn't care about meeting new people, none of that. My my younger cousin was going there, so that's all I needed. Long as my family there, I'm good. So I'm pretty much um a type of person where people, even if I don't want to get to know them. They don't want to get to know me or conversate with me and talk to me, whatever. So, I'm cool with that. Like, I'm a sociable person. I can socialize with people, you know, and I can know how to walk away and this is myself when I need to. So, we had, um, I say we had about 25 people in our class. You know, our class started out big. It was a lot of people that was finna go on the salon floor, you know, which once you get done with all your classwork, you graduate to the salon floor. So, um... You know, there's a lot of people that had work to make up and stuff like that. So, you know, it was it was a, a really great learning experience. You learned a lot about yourself being in hair school also. Um, so, um, you know, as the time go on, you learn a lot. You learn a lot about, you know, different parts of the, the head and your skin, follicles and all this and all that. So, you know, nobody's really shady that was like in our class. We're not shady. We don't care about materialistic things. None of the above. Like... You know, like, we crack jokes with each other. We call each other names. That's just what we do. We have to find ways to relax because they work us like no other. Okay? So, we get these new class of people coming in. And all of a sudden, it's drama already. And I'm not the one for drama. Because, like, I can hear stuff. But, I mean, long as you're not really, you know, coming to me with it or, you know, coming to me or saying anything about me, I really don't care. So, it was people I was hanging with that, you know, were getting targeted. And they were really harmless. Like, these girls were really, they were younger than me, you know, because I'm older. So, they're younger than me and they're just like, you know, like, I don't understand what's the problem with this. You know, with these people, with these new girls that's coming in, this and that. So I'm like, ignore them. You know, that was uh, that was the first thing I told them. Like, ignore them because, you know, you're not here for that. Like, dude, we about to be gone. Ignore them. They don't matter. Like, we don't give a shit about them. Like, dude, we in the back because we had to do classes once a week in the back, you know, and we didn't have to be around or see them. Ignore them. Most of the time we on the floor and in the classroom, so we don't have to see them. They have to walk past us to do everything. So, ignore them. Whatever. Nobody cares. So, we get this, this lovely group of students. We get this one girl. And this one chick. It's always one chick. This one chick, she was... um. I mean, I, I never knew, like, she was the one who was starting stuff around school because when she came, you know, like, I even spoke to her and I conversated with her and I told her, like, oh, you look pretty today or I like your outfit, you know, because if something looked nice on a person, I'll speak to them. She even spoke to me. She was saying stuff like, oh, I like your wig because, you know, I changed up my hair. I used to change my wigs and stuff, you know. If you guys want reference or anything today, you can go on my Instagram, Makeup by Miss Bridget J. You can find everything that you're looking for on my Instagram, okay? Um, and I always had my school badge on, all this and all that. And every look I did, you can see it on my Instagram. Because I faithfully posted my looks on Instagram. Because every day, I pride myself on putting up a different look. Just to inspire other people who, you know, like, was... You know, following me and stuff. I wanted to inspire people that was like, okay, like, I like her, you know? So, if I inspired you, I want to keep inspiring you. Just by posting something different every day. Nobody likes a boring person, okay? And so, you know, so the chick was, you know, she was throwing me, you know, like, she would say, like, um... Oh, I like your wig. Oh, you change your hair this night. You know, whatever. So, I never thought the chick was, like, saying anything or whatever. So, um, so then the girls that I was talking to or whatever, they would come to me like, uh, yeah, this, the new girl said that, um, I guess they were all in class and, um, somebody in the class came out. Like, they were close with, 
it's a whole bunch of she he say she say shit bottom line so somebody was like oh yeah um we were in lunch and they was like yeah y'all didn't hear the news and then i was with a client so they told me after i got done with my client they was like y'all didn't hear the news and then um this is what the girl told me she was like yeah apparently all y'all is haters and y'all don't like the girl because she um she has an audience all y'all broke bitches and i'm like what like what so i mean when i got the news i was like what like where is this coming from like nobody here really cares about shit like that like we all is everybody is in school everybody is struggling everybody that works has part-time jobs here so who the fuck is that rich where um they are driving you know foreign cars and they are not struggling like i'm just trying to figure out who's here that's just so fucking rich like excuse my language but who's who's here so fucking rich so i mean and it didn't stop there like it was just like um it was a jab after a jab like after that it just kept flowing like a jab after jab and nobody never was like responding to this chick like nobody was never ever well the other girls they was like they got they i mean like i guess it bothered them because they were saying stuff but i wasn't really around you know for them to say stuff and then i guess they was throwing jabs at her so she felt like because we all was together i was in on it too i have nothing to do with they say to you honey first of all so if you got something to say to them you say it to them that's just the, my state of mind don't come to me you go to them because this ain't what you want Okay? And I told them, I said, but whatever y'all got going on, y'all go and talk to her or, you know, let Miss Fred know, which is our teacher, go let her know so she can fix it because I don't want that BS because this is a situation homegirl don't want. Okay? Like, that's just what I said. She don't want these problems. Okay? I'm trying to stay professional. You know, it was close for me to graduate. I had six weeks left. I ain't got that. Okay? Okay, so she's steady talking, steady talking. So one day, you know, she made this quote like, because y'all know I say beat my face. I beat this face. Beat this face to the fuck. So I beat this face, you know. So everybody on the floor, we stay with our, we just had to. Like, we, we, didn't, we had to. We had a rule. If you didn't come to school looking up to part, you got sent home. That means you had to have your hair done, your makeup done, at least some type of makeup on. You know, like you just had to look up to part. If you didn't, you had to go home. Or you had to go to the back and get yourself together. So, this girl said, the girls here wear too much makeup. First of all, you are, we you are wearing the same amount or ten times more than what we're wearing. Like, you are mad because your makeup does, doesn't look like ours? I mean, honestly, honey. I have a YouTube channel. You can honestly watch my videos. It'll teach you whatever you need. I'm like, what is wrong with this chick? Like, what's wrong with her? Like, she trying to throw shots at the wrong people. Like, what's wrong? Like, what's what's good? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's good with you? So she said he's throwing shots. Like, she's throwing shots. Shot, shot. Like, she said he's throwing shots. Like, okay, okay. Like, you throwing shots. And I'm like, what's good? Like, we we all in the I'm like, people is throwing shots. Like, why are you throwing shots? Like, what's wrong? Like, you know, like, so now I know exactly who you're talking about. And then she like, the females on the floor, they wear too much makeup. And it was only a select few of us that it was me, my other friend, and another other girl that wore, like, full glam. Like, it was only a few of us that wore like that every day. So she was just, like, trying to throw shots at us. And I'm like, what's wrong with this chick? Like, what? what's her problem? Like, we ain't doing nothing to you. Like, dog, are you jealous? What's good? Like, what's up? Do you need help? If you need help, holla at your girl. I'll hook you up. Like, I ain't like that. I'll help you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, she was, like, throwing shots. So, she just kept talking crazy, this and that. So it came to the point of time where she had to come on the floor. So she came on the floor and 
I ain't like her. She ain't like me. Oh, wait, I skipped the part. So, one day she came to school and she was just, she had been talking crazy, like, off the side of her neck, like, just throwing shots at us. So, she walked past me and I'm like, ooh. I'm like, ooh, you look like deaf. And she really did, which was mean. But she was saying stuff about us, y'all. Like, this is what y'all don't understand. Like, the girl was just taking shots. Like, she kept saying stuff about everybody on the floor, like, rude ass shit like it was just like so rude and she was like picking at people that were so defenseless like these girls they they were not drama oriented like they were defenseless like they they were not them type of girls you know and i think she knew that she was kind of like a bully but when when somebody else was bullying on her like she would like ball up and be like no i i just think you know like people like that like don't do that you know i hate people like that so she, um, so she just, like, looked at me and walked away. I'm like, I don't care. You know, whatever. And we was all laughing and we turned around. So, what we did is made it our business to say something about her every time she walked past. Because for the longest, you sat in your class and said stuff about us. Or every time we walked past, you said something about us. Or she'd be like, bitches don't want it with me. You know, like, just be doing too much, like. Oh, you know, like every day my baby picked me up. I told her something like it's crazy. And she like, what the hell you coming to school? Like, why you, you know, like every day it's something like it don't make no sense. You're supposed to be here doing hair and it's drama. Like, I'm like, that's what it is. Like, that's what's going on. Like, it was just so when I wasn't recording, like it was just like I was just like not in a good place because I honestly wanted to pound the girl face oh. in like this chick. She just kept. As you know, as you know, so she came on the floor or whatever. And she like, so I was in dispense where we had to get the products and stuff. Because by the end, you know, I was that chick. You know what I'm saying? And I was kind of like that chick, you know. So I had to be in dispense. And I was being professional because Miss Fred told me. And I told her I ain't like her, this and that. So I was telling my teacher what was going on. I wasn't shy about nothing that's going on. I have a foul mouth. And my teacher knew it, so, you know, I would joke around with her. She knew I had a filthy mouth. So, I would talk to her about stuff, and then she would be like, really, Brittany? I'm like, yeah. So, I told her, and then I was like, I don't like her, and she don't like me. And then she was like, it just sounds like a whole bunch of, you know, like, kitty drama. What you do is don't entertain them, this and that. But, um, you know, like, just be professional. And then I'm like, okay. So, then she comes to the space. I'm like, you need something? And then she like... Um, no. And I'm like, oh, okay, so what are you just standing here? And then she like, shut up. I'm like, who are you talking to? Like, shut up i'm like who are you talking to like that just blew me like it just like the gasket like lit off y'all i'm sorry like i couldn't take it i could like it just you know how like you know how like something just go like boosh like explosion like it just let off an explosion in me and i couldn't let it go i couldn't let it go y'all i couldn't let it go I couldn't stop it. I couldn't stop that train wreck happening, y'all. I couldn't. I couldn't control myself. I was like, I was like, who is you talking to? And she's like, you. I was like, you can't be talking to me. And then I went there, y'all. I was like, I, I was like, y'all. I gotta whisper. I was like, you nappy weave, where, bitch? Okay. I went there, y'all. I went there <laughs> because she was like saying stuff, and I'm like. I'm just going to check you real quick and show you who I am. And she's like, I'm telling on you. I'm telling on you. But then the crazy thing is there was people all around me that like witnessed her saying this. You know, like starting it. And I'm like, you didn't even have to go there. You know, and everybody was saying that like, you didn't have to say that. You know, she just said, well, what are you doing? You just standing here or, you know. And then she like took it there. And they like, um, and she just tried. And then she going to say, well, you threw this now. I'm like, I didn't throw anything because you didn't get anything from me. So, I talked to Miss Fred. I told her the situation was blah, 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 skibbity who. And she was like, well, um, hold on. Let me make sure y'all still recording. 
Okay, we still recording. We still recording. All right. So, I talked to my teacher and told her what was going on. And I'm like, you need to fix this before I fix this. Because if I fix this my way, it's not going to be pretty. And this is just a fair warning because if she stay or look at me wrong, if she roll her eyes at me the wrong way, I'm snatching them dead out of her head. Miss Fred was like, don't do it. You're going to get kicked out. I'm like, at this point, I don't care. I just told her just like that. At this point, I don't care because she completely don't know who she's dealing with. First of all, I'm not her little friends that she he he and hi with class with. Um, I will reach out and touch her in all the wrong places. And she's going to realize who she's really fucking with. Just like that. I mean, it's all the way wrong to say in a professional setting. But I just got real good or real quick. Like, I'm not that bitch. Like, I am not. Because in that school, they'll try you. If you don't say, like, no, I'm not having it. Like, dude, you're not going to talk to me like that. They'll try you. And they'll be like, yeah, she ain't going to do nothing like <laughs> Okay. Try it. Ah, so, Miss Fred pulled her to the side and talked to her. And then, wait. Oh, oh, my God, y'all. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna go back and tell y'all something else, okay? So, Miss Red pulled her to the side and um, she talked to her, so she told her a little story. She cried wolf. I don't know what she was she saying stuff about me. I ain't do anything to her this and that, okay? Whatever. So then, then she pulled me, she's like, Brittany, I want you to come in here. And I want you to talk it out. Try to contain yourself. This is not. Okay. So I'm like, I know my temper. So <laughs> you want me to come in there with somebody that I want to beat their ass. And you want me to talk it out. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because I can do it. Let's do it. Like I tried. I had faith in myself. I said, let's do it. You got it. Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. I was excited, like, I know I could do it, I could know I could do it. I could walk away from this, I could do it. Child, let me tell you, I can't do it. I couldn't do it. Let me tell you, <laughs> I could not do it. Okay, so, we went in there. She talked. So, Miss Fred talked, and I listened, I said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Miss Fred said, you're going to let her talk, and she's going to let you talk to her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Miss Fred she started to talk, and I said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then she started lying on me. See, this is what I don't like. I don't like nobody lying on me. You could tell your story all day, every day. But make sure you tell exactly what I did, because I'm not going to lie about what I did. I'll, I'll fess up to what I did. I'll fess up to my wrongs. Like, I will. Like, there's no problem. If they say, well, what did you do? I said she looked like death, which she did, because she was going around talking shit about everybody. And she put me in some shit. I didn't even know a thing about this girl. This is her thing. She gonna say, I didn't know even a, nobody about you. You didn't know about me, but yet you still mention me on different occasions. I don't, if I don't know about a person, why would I mention their name? Why would I acknowledge them if I didn't know them? How could you not know me when I'm the only Britney in this motherfucker? Period, point blank. I'm just going to put that right there. How could you not know me? I'm the only Britney in here. The only one. So how could you not know me? Not to say like I'm that bitch, but I'm the only Britney in this motherfucker. How could you not know me? Who else named Britney in here? Who else? And when they say Britney, guess who they look at? Britney. So try that with somebody else. Everybody know who I am. Like, come on. You don't know who Brittany is? Sure you don't. Okay. I was just listening to the lies. I'm like, mm, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. I was like, okay. I'm like, honestly, you messaged me on Facebook. That's what I left out, y'all. She messaged me on Facebook saying, I appreciate. I still got the message in my Facebook. But what I'm not going to do is show you guys because... This is going to come up next. <laughs> because we're sitting up here going back and forth. And then she's like a little kid talking about, don't talk when I'm talking. I'm talking. First of all, my kids do that when they argue. 
be a grown ass woman. Like if you're gonna really talk something out, be a grown woman about it. Like don't sit up here and call for somebody to talk about something out when you can't even be a grown up about it. You sitting up here screaming and hollering like little ass kid. I'm like, first of all, you got me fucked up. I will whoop your ass in this little ass office. Do you understand? First of all, right here is this space is how big. Like my dresser was the office. No lie. My dresser was the office. First of all, if I wanted to hit her in her shit, I could have because I stood over her for a long time. And I just stood there looking at her like, dude, I will whoop your ass. But the fact that I was in school and I knew where I was and I knew that my babe couldn't get to me quick enough to get me out of that situation, I wouldn't dare do that. And they had my full name, my home address. Come on, man. Why would I do something like that? I wouldn't put my family at risk for a dumbass bitch. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, this, this shit is so real. Like, this is a real story. Like, this is not made up. I'm not gonna cut nothing out. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what happened. Like, this girl, she's sitting up here. She talking all this mess. And then I'm telling her, like, what pissed me off the most is that you lying. And when she started lying on me, talking about I threw end wraps at her. If you guys don't know what end wraps is, they are little ass thin papers that you put on perm rods and roll the hair up. They are little thin papers. When she said it, the teachers looked at her like, really? I said, what did they do? Did they float? I said, I wish they was hard enough to hit you in your fucking face. Just like that. Toe to toe. This, I'm only five feet. She like, yay high, like a big ass donkey ass donkey bitch that she was whatever but she was big as shit <laughs> i swear she was she looked like she was about six two she was big as hell but that don't mean that i'm gonna back down because you taller than me i got right in her face like let me tell you something i will fuck you up up in here i put my fingers right in her face like i fuck you up up in here don't get it twisted and she was like don't put your fingers in there. Don't put your fingers in there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't move your hand. Don't move your head. Because I want you to understand that I'm talking that. I will fuck her up in the office. So, my teacher was like, no, Brittany. It's just not. And I'm just like, yes. Because it's about to go down. Um, I didn't say it was about to go down. But that's exactly what was going to happen. And I stormed out of school. And I called my babe. And I told her to come get me. Come get me now. Everybody told me not to leave because... Um, it kind of delayed me graduating. I would have graduated way earlier, but I had to leave that day because I could not, I could not stand to be around that girl. And I knew that I would fight her within that day. I knew that I couldn't stand to be around her. I couldn't stand her face. So what I did is took the rest of the day off, re, re, um, evaluated myself, got my mind together and stuff. And... I came back to school and I just kept looking at her and I just was like, you just wait, you know, like I was just like, you just wait. But at the end of the day, I didn't even really trip, you know, because I thought about it. This chick ain't got nothing to lose. I got stuff to lose, you know, like I've been wanting to graduate hair school for the longest. I've been wanting to go to hair school for years. Now that I'm at the point at the peak of graduating, why would I risk it all for a dumb broad, you know? So, um, I would be a fool to do that. And I kind of was a fool because I was about to lose it all just because of some chick that means nothing to me. Um, basically popping off at the mouth. Um, this story kind of made me realize that words mean nothing. But I learned that people will say anything to get under your skin. And you should never let a person lie on you, you know. But you should never let them take you out of your character. I allow I allowed a person to take me out of my character when they were not worth it. Um... Now, this has happened to me multiple times. I learned from them. But take this story and learn from mine. Don't allow a person to get the best of you or to take you out of your character when you know that you're way better than them. Um, I knew that I was way better than this person. I was way talented than this person. Um, I was way more valuable than this person than um, 
than I believed in myself. So I knew that this this person knew and seen all these great qualities in me. Then they didn't see in themselves, and I allowed them to take me there. I should have stayed. I should have just ignored this person. Went on with my day, but. To me, I just cannot allow a person to walk over me only because, you know, in the past I have allowed people to walk over me and I just cannot. I pride myself on not allowing anybody to walk over me as I got an adult. Um, because honestly, I just, I really don't like it. You know, I've never been the type of person to allow anyone to walk over me or bully me. Like, I've never been that type of person. I've, been, I've always been big on standing up for people who don't have anyone to help them or to stand or or is afraid to stand up for themselves i even teach my kids that like if they tell me oh somebody bullying me i say you stand up for yourself you do not allow them to get away with anything you go report that person and if the person i mean if the principal you know if the teacher does not does anything about it you go report the teacher and you report the student to the principal now, if they doesn't do anything about it and you feel like this person is still bothering you, then you take matters in your own hand, you know? So, I do not let my kids get walked over or anything like that. Only because it's too much going on in this world to allow yourself to get walked over. I will not allow my kids to get walked over. I do not allow anybody that I care about or love to be bullied. I will not allow it. And to me, I don't feel like I was being bullied in this situation, but I feel like my friends were being my they, they were my friends at the time but i feel like my friends were being bullied and i hate a bully okay the whole point of me telling you the story is because i stood up for what i believed in i believed that my friends were being bullied and it all started because my friends were harmless they were harmless they did nothing to this girl the girl came in with a shitty attitude she started calling them all type of b words and you know, saying they broke bitches. Then she started saying we all are broke bitches. We all wear too much makeup and we all this and all this and all that. Like, she was just saying stuff every day. When we didn't come to school for fashion shows. We didn't come to school for what we had. Or we came to school to better ourselves to get, get what we want in life and to work for what we want in life you know we didn't come to school for that so for somebody to come and think they're gonna belittle us because you probably um slept your way to get that car you're not gonna belittle us it's not gonna happen you don't have more than the next person no you don't no and you're not gonna bully them or make them feel less than because you have a car that you can barely keep gas in or you can barely keep it's not going to happen. So, you know, it really bothered me because my friends were going through things in life. And, you know, she could have said one thing and it sent them over the edge. She didn't know their struggles. She didn't know what they was going through at home. So, for her to come in and say stuff to them, just not right, you know. So, and I was telling them, don't listen. But it was really affecting them. And since it was affecting them, it was a bother. It was bothering me. And I'm like, you know, me, it it don't really, a lot of things people say bo don't bother me. So, I mean, I, ho I hold myself to a really high standard. You know, it's not a lot of things you can say to tear me down. Because I look in the mirror and I see myself every day. And I know exactly what's my flaws and what's wrong with me and what a person might say to me and what they think they can say to me that probably could tear me down. But you can't really tell me anything that I already don't know about myself. So, by me saying that is some people don't look in the mirror and know those things about their self. And when a nasty person says something like that or says something that they never thought to think about their self and they pull it out of them... You can trigger something in somebody that, you know, they really, they really can, you know, get into a deep depression. And, it's, you know, when you going through things at home, you don't really want to come to school and deal with shit. You know, most of the time when we came to school, it was our scapegoat, you know, to let go of what's going on at home and enjoy our time at school. Even though we worked our tails off, it was a nice time to be around people you know your friends and you know be careless and enjoy basically our little college life our beauty college life which was really fun except for that situation okay but i didn't want to share that story with you girls because i know a lot of girls can relate to that 
um, dealing with some shadiness because girls are shady and when they are jealous of you, they will do anything to try to knock you down. All right. So I hope you girls enjoy this story time and thumbs up this video if you would like to hear more of my story time because I do have more stories more stories okay some are good some are bad but i do have a lot more story times and i thought i would sit down and share with you girls um this story time so i hope you girls enjoy and i will see all my fashion needs and makeup books in the next video make sure you follow me on my new snapchat just Brittany j make sure you follow me on instagram makeup by miss Brittany j and make sure you follow me on my makeup page um makeup i don't even know if i what i want to do with this makeup page so i don't even know if i want to share this with you girls because i'm thinking about just um getting rid of it because i don't even really post on it that much so i don't know but just follow me on instagram and snap because i'm very active on them and i love snapchat like i love snapchat if i don't get on snapchat then something's really wrong with me like no lie real life okay Make sure you subscribe to this channel and thumbs up this video, like, comment, and share. All right. So I will see you both in the next video. Stay true, stay you, stay fabulous, and make sure you buy yourself something nice and pretty. Bye.